Hello there, welcome back to Selenium Training. In one of my previous lectures, I have showed you how you can export console data into a file. And in this tutorial, we will learn how, we will learn the same, but one step will be ahead. We will be learning how we can use timestamp to rename our file. That means I want to save a file with the exact time and date. If you want to understand this code, please go to the uh, previous lectures uh, of the video or I'll share the link in the description box. So I'll continue with this. Otherwise, it will go a bit lengthy. So we have a function in Java called local date and time. All right, local date time. Let's create an object of this class. Local date time. And one function is there that is called now. All right. Let me just re refactor it. All right. Now, if we know it stores the data in milliseconds, it stores the date and time in in seconds. It will give you the time in seconds, but we don't want that. I want a formatted time. I want a clear formatted time for my project, for example. So I'll be using one class called formatter date time formatter all right let's create an object of this class dot of pattern i'm i'm in i will input it the pattern i uh, i uh, the pattern of which i want my date to show in my file date month year and time will be hours minute and seconds all right now let's export this to a file string formatted date all right date dot format and which format you want to put that's format is stored in the date format all right that's fine let's keep it there in the previous video, I have shown you how you can store the file in your PC. Now, in this case, we will save the file in this folder action. So let's create a folder here called simple folder. Let's name it files. Right now you have to give the location of these files to the where uh, to where you want to store the files. You have to give the location to the print stream to do that. We using dot dot means save in the root folder and give it the location files right let's suppose uh, you want to keep the name of the file login file right now i'm adding one hyphen so that date can be also added to do that my date is stored in formatted date let's concatenate this string with it so how you can do that as a simple sign you just need to plus all right plus paste formatted date and one more plus dot txt right and let's keep it here that's it guys sorry sorry uh, let's keep it here pardon me guys all right now we have stored our date i'm getting some small exception yes that's inside it dot txt right now if we run this script it will give you an error why let's see let's see first right i'm deliberately putting it this way so you can understand where to where we need to rectify it will go to the docker website guys please go to the link in the description box to understand this concept clearly it will grab the data and it has given you file not exception why let's uh, check the exception directory name or volume label syntax is incorrect here we are using colons and colons are not preferred in, in the file right 
so callers are not uh, used in a file so because special characters are not used let's uh, rename uh, copy this file and just rename it with hyphens now this time it will work now if you want to modify the date you can do it as per you as per your requirements let's see how we get the date we will do one more modification all right guys file has been created let's refresh the folder one file has been created login file and it gives you the time it's 12 8 and it gives you the seconds or if you open the file you have the data but my requirement is i want to get the correct date time minutes i don't want to get the second i want to get the whether it's am or it's pm so simply copy this file i'm commenting the file for you guys so you might need the code i'm commenting this i'll create a new let's uh, a simple method to do that is you can use you can use for that hours hyphen minute and you can use small a and this way it will give you the hours minutes and the am or pm let's execute this one more one more time So if you need for your project a unit if you for example need to create random files with the help of time you can easily create random files also with the same name so it it works in two ways sometimes we have the requirements to store the console data into new files so every time the time will be different so guys i hope this method is very helpful now let me just refresh the project And here you can see we have a new file at around 12 9 and this time it is also giving you am or pm i hope guys this video was very helpful for you guys if you do please consider subscribing and do not forget to comment if you are facing any queries thank you and stay tuned for more